Hello, I'm Leslie Ann Knight and welcome to the Just Talking Musicals Meetup, where I get to have a quick catch up with some of today's outstanding theatre professionals from the West End and Broadway. Just Talking Musicals, Musicals, with you. How does the signing go? I mean, it just goes S-U-P, you know, so it's all big. So it's not like proper S signing. No. We made it into Mary Poppins because Matthew said, oh, it looks too small to do all that. So we need to make it bigger. And of course, I was dyslexic, so I couldn't spell it. So they put all the letters on the mirror. <laughs> I could never spell it. And so it was just wonderful. It just developed, you know, between us all. We created this amazing num number. I got a call from my agent saying, will you go and meet him? You won't, it, it's not for me and my girl. It's, uh, um, it's just that he does a lot of stuff and it would be really good for you to meet him. So I went in and I'd seen the show about six or eight months before and I loved it. I, I, I knew somebody in the show, a whole group of us got together to go in and see it. And, uh, and I came away and I wouldn't stop talking about how brilliant this show was. And when I walked down the aisle and all the creatives and production team were sitting there, about 10 of them, and there I was going on about how brilliant the show is, all the things you shouldn't do at an audition. I was saying, I sat there in row G, G, that's Gary, you know, I was sat in that row, just coincident. And when the house came forward, when the piano came on and no one was pushing it and it just came on and I was going, it was marvellous. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. Anyway. I think from the past, it's got to be Frank Sinatra. Wow. Just iconic. Because his, his voice just melts me. Um, and there's no one sings and no one ever has and no one ever will sings like him. But also his band and all that backing and the whole package is just wow. Um, I was so happy in the end, looking back now that, that Gypsy was it because it taught me how to tell a story. I got to be around Tyne Daly, who was uh, an amazing actress. And I watched her in the wings almost every night. First time I got put on stage with her without any rehearsal whatsoever, she taught me how to act in one, brief minute and a half scene and I walked off that stage uh, you know uh, just numb well, and I remember Cheetah coming down to sing the title song you know in the web and she she kind of walked down stage and the moon grows dimmer and she'd come down and just at the crescendo of the music she'd say oh I can see you there on the screen conducting you look so sexy <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and I'd look up at her and just, and she'd give me a wink every night. Oh, it was just fabulous. I mean, it was just great. And to see this, the, what, I mean, she, as to quote Rob Marshall, um, who was the choreographer of that show, you know, she's the grand dam of Broadway, isn't she? Just talking musicals, musicals with you.